Well, it's a wonderful thing when you realise that God has so worked in someone's life that they're ready to follow his son, that actually their eyes have been opened to who Jesus is and, and, and they want to follow him. So how do they become a Christian? I, I've sometimes been asked that, and this is what I do as I'm seeking to lead someone to Christ, knowing that it's God who's opened their eyes and God who's brought them to that moment. And it's the alphabet. It's just A, B, C, D. A is admit you're a sinner. The first thing to do is that you have to say, look, in God's world, I've not lived as I should. I've taken the gifts of God. I've ignored the giver. I've sinned against him. Not just law breaking, but law making, making up my own rules. And God, I'm sorry. So I admit my sin. Secondly, B, do they believe that Christ died for them? So they're going to face hell for their sin. There's a place called hell. There's a day of judgment. But wonderfully, do they believe, B, that when Jesus died on the cross, he died so that they could be forgiven. So he paid in death and blood for their wrongdoing. The Bible says, Isaiah 53, verse 6, All we like sheep have gone astray, each has gone his own way, but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So A, have they admitted that they've gone astray? And B, do they see that God has laid on Jesus the punishment for their sin? So that's A, admit you've sinned. B, believe Christ died for you. Thirdly, I've got to count the cost. So I've got to trust Jesus, not just to die for my sin, but also to lead me. Now that means repentance counting the cost. Repentance is simply saying, whatever Jesus is now for, I'm for. What he's against, I'm against. Lord Jesus, I don't just want to have you as my saviour, forgiving my sin, though thank you so much for that. I want to have you as my master. I want to follow you. Thank you that you'll send your Holy Spirit to help me. But I need to see, count the cost of that. I need to be prepared to turn away from all that Jesus says is wrong. Now, that'll be a lifelong battle. But as I become a Christian, I've got to face that cost and ask God's help. And then D, do it. Do it. Ask Christ into your life. And I might then lead them in a prayer. This would be the prayer that I do. Lord God, I admit I'm a sinner. I'm so sorry that I've rebelled against you in your world. Thank you so much that Jesus died for me on the cross. I believe that when he died on the cross, he died for me in my place. I now count the cost. Please help me to receive Jesus as my master. And please come into my life by your Holy Spirit so that I can follow you. Amen. So I'll just pray them through the ABC and... Uh, and that's how to become a Christian. Wonderfully, God's done all the work. He's opened blind eyes. And it's such a privilege to lead people to Christ once he's prepared them and they've seen who Jesus is.